Hey everybody, if you watched my channel recently, you may have noticed that I uh, reviewed a movie uh, called Good Luck, Miss Wyckoff, 1979. Um, got some news in that regard. I'm excited to announce that we are now associated with Cyclone Productions on a major motion picture production. In that regard, we are thrilled to present our fans and followers, that's you people, a very unique opportunity to participate in the production of a prestigious motion picture. So what film are we talking about? Well, it's Good Luck, Miss Wyckoff. Not that old version. What we have here is a new contemporary film version of the acclaimed novel by Pulitzer Prize and Tony Award and Academy Award winner William Inge. You may remember him from Picnic, Splendor in the Grass, um, Come Back Little Sheba, Bus Stop. He's actually considered one of America's greatest playwrights. You might remember in the old version, uh, the film dealt with uh, an abusive sexual relationship between a white virginal high school teacher and a black janitor. However, in this one, it still deals with a white virginal high school teacher, but it's a young Pakistani student athlete at the Jason Junior College. Our lead character, Evelyn Wyckoff, um, she's struggling to come to grips with her sexuality and emotions, and she embarks on a journey of ill-fated lust, which culminates in a pretty tragic and shocking climax. So, who do we have directing this film? Well, we have a critically acclaimed woman named Karen Carpenter. She's considered one of the finest and most distinguished directors of actors in the New York and regional theater arenas. She's actually the artistic director emeritus of the William Inge Center for the Arts, and she's going to be making her film directorial debut with this project. The uh, author of the screenplay is uh, a man by the name of Robert Weinbach. Yeah, he's the producer as well. Uh, he's a two-time winner of the Houston International Screenplay Competition. And uh, his screenplay adaptation of Inge's novel is one of the top three finalists in the California Women's Film Festival screenplay competition. Uh, furthermore, the uh, screenplay was nominated as an official selection in the Oaxaca Film Fest screenplay competition and was also a finalist in the Screencraft screenplay competition. Now, this film is going to be produced by Weinbach's company, Cyclone Productions, under the Kentucky Film Incentive Program with the target to commence production anticipated late fall 2019 or possibly even early spring 2020. Um, in that respect, the Kentucky Film Commission has granted the production a film incentive tax rebate commitment of $220,000. The producers are confident that Good Luck Miss Wyckoff could be the major flagship female-driven film of the year that is provocative, controversial, and also commercially viable. Um, the film, and especially the tour de force role of Miss Wyckoff, have the potential to be major film fest contenders, including, hopefully, Golden Globe nominees. And Good Luck Miss Wyckoff will feature a major actress in the starring role of Evelyn Wyckoff, with other highly recognized actors in uh, featured roles as well. Uh, potential candidates for that lead role of Miss Wyckoff include Diane Kruger, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Michelle Williams, uh, Renee Zellweger, Naomi Watts, uh, Nuni Rapace, and Vera Farmiga. For more information about this project, you can visit this website, or you can actually click the link down below in the description. Uh, if you go to that website, uh, it will provide uh, some more comprehensive information about the project, including uh, creative team bios, uh, information about Inge's films and awards, as well as a synopsis of Good Luck, Miss Wyckoff. So, here's where you come in. Um, we are inviting our fans and followers, that's all of you people, to uh, participate in a special crowdfunding campaign to bring this story about sexual repression and ultimately sexual emancipation to the big screen. In that regard, the producers are providing our fans and followers an opportunity to receive a limited collector's edition premiums and other swag, including potential screen credits uh, in respect of your affordable contributions. Can you imagine that? Your name up on the big screen as well as an IMDb listing? How cool is that? So anyway, for a full list of the various tiers and what each one provides, uh, just see the description down below. So how are we doing this? We're doing this via PayPal. So what you want to do is log into your PayPal account and then uh, choose your respective premium level from the list in the description down below. I also have a link to uh, PayPal if you want to follow that as well. What you want to do is use the friends and family option to send money. Uh, send it to the email address you see on the screen right here. Um, and then most importantly, in the notes section in PayPal, you want to type in the promo code J-O-N-H-O-L. Uh, again, J-O-N-H-O-L. Put that in as the promo code in the notes section, as well as your premium level, you know, fan funder, production advocate, whichever level you're choosing, be sure to write that in there as well. Uh, then we need your full name, address, telephone number, email address, and then you'll receive an email confirmation and eventually, you know, whatever swag that your selected premium level provides. So uh, if you want to learn even more about the project, you can click the uh, Vimeo link in the description down below. That's going to give you a video presentation which features the producer, the director, the cinematographer, as well as the composer. Um, this is pretty cool. This is exciting. So anyway, join me. I'm involved. I hope you will be too. Uh, let's make this happen. Uh, late fall, early spring. Good luck, Miss Wyckoff. I can't wait.